So what I have in my bathroom upstairs is LED recessed lighting. You can see in the off position, it has just this very faint glow. And if we look at the switch, which is an illuminated switch that I put on, um, it's in the off position. This is the on position. And as you can see, it's bright and it's perfect and it's fine, no problem. But when we turn it into the off position, we have a little bit of residual glow. So this is a, a common problem with LED lights and regular single pole switches that don't have a neutral wire. This one does not have a neutral wire, two blacks and a ground. That's all it has to it. So it's just cutting the circuit off and allowing it to pass through. So we have this issue because there's still a small amount of electricity going through to actually make this light up. I had a regular switch on here before and I didn't have that problem. But because of this minimal amount of voltage that's actually going through to the LED, it's actually turning on. So the solution to this problem is a minimal load capacitor right here. This is actually by Lutron. The slight switch is by Leviton. Um, so Lutron sells this uh, minimal load capacitor and they have, they've sold this for this common problem with uh, their switches and uh, now they apparently they have rated it for their dimmers as well. Uh, at first there was a lot of forms saying no to dimmers, no to dimmers, but apparently now it works with dimmers. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go into the fixture. We're gonna take one end of this capacitor and we're gonna connect that to the neutral wire that they have uh, connected in there. And uh, the other end is gonna be connected to the black, which is the hot. So I'll be referring it to neutral and hot, okay, black and white. So when we put those uh, into the fixture uh, with the, within the line, uh, going from the switch and from the neutral up into the fixture up there That will eliminate this ghosting effect that you have by soaking up that residual uh, Voltage going in and allowing it to finally pass through when the light is in the on position Okay, so we now have the capacitor Connected within the circuit here to the LED light you can you can tell right there. It's an it's an LED and it is connected to the white, which is the neutral, okay, the hot, which is the black, and all I did was install it where it connects from, uh, to the panel, all right, to the, to the panel in the garage right there. So it's a very simple, quick thing to do, okay, so this took me maybe about, I don't know, maybe three or four minutes to, to install, but it's very small, okay, and it's rated for this junction box, which is, which is a, a metal junction box uh, coming in from the ceiling. So I'm gonna just go ahead and, and, and put this back in there and then I'll show you exactly what it looks like without the ghosting effect because of the installation of the capacitor. Okay, so now you can see that there's no residual glow. The switch is in the off position here. I went downstairs and I, I went ahead and I flipped the breaker. So works perfectly now. Off, on, and all it took was that little minimal load capacitor right there. And just a quick wrap up, here are the instructions that actually came with the capacitor. On the left it has the, the diagram of what we actually did. Junction box, fixture, capacitor, neutral wire, black wire, very simple. The wire knots that were already there is what we used. These are not very thick or, or difficult wires to, to, to manipulate. So I was able to use the, the wire knots that were already there. To the right here you have the actual schematics. So you have the neutral wire coming from the breaker box connecting to the light and now to the capacitor. This dotted line represents the junction box and the fixture. Here is that illuminated switch which is the, with just the one black wire, the one hot wire going through. So since it's an illuminated switch, it is still releasing a small amount of electricity that was actually powering these LED lights. It requires such a small amount of electricity that that little bit of electricity that was just powering that tiny light was powering this as well. What that minimal low capacitor is doing is taking that residual amount of voltage and not allowing it to pass through and actually light up the fixture until it has a minimum amount of, elect of electricity going through it when the switch is in the on position when you have the full, uh, the, the full 120 volts going through it. So that is your solution to the ghosting or dimming problem when your switch is off. This is a illuminated switch, mind you. When I had the regular switch, I didn't have that issue. And if you have an old CFL fixture, you most likely don't even have that ghosting issue because that small amount of electricity is not enough to power that CFL fixture. So I hope this helps. Um, there's a lot of information out there, nothing very straightforward. So I hope this helps with that instructional video and just to show you that yes, with, a LED, with an LED light, it, this works perfectly fine. Have not tested this with a dimmer yet. 
Um, there are some forms that saying that this works fine when your uh, fixture is not rated uh, for, uh, for a dimmer um, or the dimmer is not rated for an LED light, uh, vice versa. I have not tried it. Uh, I'm probably not going to because I don't really require it. I just need those illuminated light switches because it's really dark upstairs uh, in the hallways and in the bathrooms.